Hello, today I'm going to show you how to change keys one half step up, either to major or minor. I'm in the key of C right now, and then I play a subdominant, so that's F major. I go back to C major. I play this again, but instead of having the F here for a subdominant major chord, I have E flat and G flat here or E flat and F sharp to create a diminished seventh chord that includes the tonic. So it goes meow, 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 meow. And now by lowering this sixth or double flat seventh, B double flat, another half step, you get an A flat dominant seventh chord because this is just an inversion of this. And this, this chord wants to resolve to this one. It always resolves to the key of its subdominant. So, And once you're here, you can keep on practicing that, so... I mean, from here you can go directly to the diminished seventh, this one. But since that sounds a bit weird, okay, if you're a composer, you can break all the rules, but I find that a bit weird, so I go to the subdominant, and the reason for doing so is so I can play the sixth right here. I repeat this melody twice. Actually, I repeat it once, so you hear it twice. Ready? Once. So, meow, meow. That's once. And then I do it again. But this time I use a different chord. So instead of using this, I use the diminished seventh that includes the tonic. So, Then I lower this highest note, okay, one half step, one semitone, and you recognize this as the A dominant seventh, which resolves the D. Okay, so this is the diminished seventh that you use. And this is just B flat dominant seventh, right? And you're gonna keep on practicing. You can keep on going up like this, going up one by one. So again, if you just wanna go one half step up, you do tonic, subdominant, tonic, Diminish seventh, lower the note one half step. And then resolve. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.